What is going on, everybody? It is Treep from Treep Talks here for episode number 13. Lucky number 13 of the crew cast. We actually have some new faces. Well, not to the crew, obviously, but to you guys that are listening with your ears right now. We got Barn in the building. You might know, but notice Barnage, the resident chat moderator. Oh, yeah. Barnhouse. <laughs> Barnhouse, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Yeah, how's the how's the old labor job treating you? You sore? Oh yeah, every day the back pain. <laughs> <laughs> Running around like a true old lady. And our <laughs> and our friend from Oregon, our turd. Yeah, back in the bay. Oregon. Back <laughs> back in the building. What's back in the valley. How's it feel to be back in the valley? Back in town. This place fucking sucks. <laughs> So, okay, as a person that does not go out of the valley very often, do you notice the smell when you come back? Oh, yeah, for sure. Does it, is Easy. it, is it, <laughs> it takes like, a, It takes, a, like, at least 30 to 45 minutes to get used to it. But yeah. it's pretty close. Yeah. Just imagine if you weren't from Lewiston, you'd probably be smelling it right now. Yeah. It's putrid. I, that's that's like everybody always complains about the smell. But obviously, I grew up here, well, so yeah, I never yeah. got. I never had to get accustomed to no smell. Dude, there's always one day of every month that it would just it's hit you hard. No. Yeah, yeah, like, you were, like you, when yeah. we were going to high you'd school, fucking, I smelled yeah. it like almost every morning. Yeah, you fucking. The smell morning it gets hard. stinky. Oh yeah, I didn't smell it in the mornings, but there was the one day out of the month. It was really that cloudy. Yeah, yeah. it was just cloudy, all that and you could just smell. Oh hot yeah. Hot so for the viewers out there, we got this plate place called Clearwater Paper. It's a sawmill. They make paper, shit paper, whatever. And they just stank, man. It stanks <laughs> bad, it stanks really And if you good. go out of town for, like, an extended period of time, yeah, even when, you like get, when you get, like, while. within a mile of Lewiston, I feel like... Well, if you're on top you're of Lewiston like, Hill, once yeah. you start going yeah. down, like, you smell you start going down Oh, yeah, when we come back from bus air. rides from, like, oh, sporting yeah. events, Ugh. and you caught, you caught the whiff on top of the hill, you're like, I'm Well, old. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> once you get within a mile yeah. of it, like, coming down the I hill... I remember on wrestling trips on the smell. bus, I would literally be napping, and then I'd wake up to the smell and be like, oh, yeah, we're going down the Lewiston Hill right now. I heard Nampa is also pretty stinky. I've never been to Nampa, but I've heard, like... I've been to Nampa. We haven't been to Nampa. I don't, I, if we have, was uh, junior year stayed at Nampa? I went there for Science Olympiad, and that was badass. Okay. I don't know, well, I've seen it, it on in, Twitter uh, not too long ago, somebody was, was saying that Nampa's stinkier than Lewiston. Oh. Which is weird. Oh, I've never I been there. Nampa, what, I didn't so. smell it, so Well, we're still known in Idaho for the stinky town. Yeah. We have to be. Yeah. There's no way anybody in Idaho well, is Well, literally. Yeah. We don't have paved roads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We ride horses everywhere. Yes. <laughs> no one here owns a car. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is dial up still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we're still we we live on the prairie. We're recording this in May of 2015. <laughs> <laughs> With a browser of Internet Explorer. Yeah. I'm recording this in my shed. <laughs> my shed with my hotspot. <laughs> Anyway, they've said some words, but we also got Fitz in the building. Larry, yes, how are you doing? Yes. The Cardinals getting we're, a tie. We're undefeated. Yeah, you're under. That was I watched. I, I watched that game with Fitz, and uh, you know you weren't you weren't that emotional during that game. I feel like you. you oh, kept, I was. You held it in week f- in the, about fourth quarter. I was getting pretty fucking hyped. I felt like you held it in pretty good. I think Larry. it's just because you were switching in between the Arizona game and the Tampa Bay game. But dude, it's, Larry just fucking. Feast and did what he does. And Dude, I have yeah. him on my fantasy that match. guy, I mean, you just give him the ball, he does what he does. I just like to say, fuck Mike Evans. Yeah. Dude, there is. Tampa Bay is just bad. Jameis Dude. Winston is so fuck. gone. Oh fuck my god, no. I fucking fuck Tyree. risked Hill, it for the biscuit Every... for Jameis Winston uh... for the third straight he threw a year. Awful interception. I just like to, to point out Sherman. that before he got drafted, I said that he was going to be a big bust. I said yeah. that too. I agree and with you. Trevin, Trevin said was so no. high on him. Trevin's still high on him. Yeah. He'll say fucking whatever. I, but... I think Bruce can turn him around, but uh. if Bruce can't turn him around, that's. Then he's really got off. A hot take: Bruce is overrated as a QB coach. You're overrated as thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all. You're the... overrated as a thinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Look at all the quarterbacks he's been with: Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning, and Ben retired. Ben. Andrew Luck retired. Yeah. Doesn't where matter. Does, all where successful. Do you, where do you where do you rank, Carson Palmer? Where Never do you rank, Where do you rank Andrew Luck 
among the great quarterbacks now. Not no, 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 no. Do, you, do you put him He's in the hall? There. Do you put Andrew Luck in the hall of fame? No, no, he hasn't done enough. You put him in the hall of fame of nice guys. That's what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's that's the nicest what football player. That's what I'm saying. If Andrew now. Luck doesn't go into the, I mean, if Calvin Johnson doesn't go into the hall he of fame, will. then Bro, Andrew Luck Calvin doesn't. Dude, Calvin's I feel like lock. Andrew Luck is like the best of like. Do you really think so? He should go in the hall of fame. Calvin is a lock. Like for how hard it's hard to get in the hall of fame. Not first ballot. I don't think so. I, I think, think it's gonna out because he broke Rice's record. I think he it's like it's like Barry Sanders. Barry quit early, but still you know how dominant. But he was there for ten. Was. Pokemon 10 years, Go. Nine, this is not years. sponsored. Yeah, but I mean, when you think of fucking Calvin Johnson, you think of him in a different light than when you Bryce. say Andrew Luck. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's true. Well, it depends on who you talk to, though, because Colts fans really think real highly of Andrew Luck. Yeah, I, fuck Colts fans. Well, yeah, Russell but that's Wilson, Colts fans. way up here, the fucking roof well, yeah. where those can't see, and Andrew Luck is at the fucking. But floor. like, yeah, talking about all the like, people who retired young, you gotta put Calvin at first ballot because he was dominant on the Lions, guys. May years was Can you wise. turn your fucking ringer I can't, and I can't help it up. because everybody God, you what are you notifications. Doing? You're dude, a bad YouTuber. Dude, oh, come dude. on. Come on. It's God. Blame Jamin for quit sending stupid shit to Big Pete's. Jay Steve. We'll put it on Bible. Yeah, put it on Twitter. silent. Oh, dude, fuck that. The stupid chat. Twitter shit that he always Dude, honestly, out. fuck any group chat I'm not active in, really. <laughs> Why am I still in group chats that I'm not active in? Jamin was about to get them hands on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why is that? Because he said something in the. Chat and Byron was just like stuck. I don't know. No, I just stuck. And, and his I told. Team got fucking and I told. Cut. That's what I'm well, saying, dude. Well, because he knew he was, his team was going to. He's already been. He's already knows his team's busting for the. No matter if you know it, your team is still getting fucking cucked and everybody wants out. It's like, dude, well, we went yeah, 0 16. We didn't even have people saying they wanted out. Like, holy fuck! Because well, you're a real fan, you ain't happy with okay. fucking losing. Guys, but for real, if you get your ass kicked on week one, you know where this is going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your 0 16 season, you guys probably didn't get your ass whipped on week one. You didn't know where it was heading. They no. know where this is going. The Barnage was still fucking hopeful. I know. Oh my but that's God. what I'm saying. When you get your ass kicked 59 to 10 in the week one, there ain't no hope. You know where this is going. Fuck it. It's over. You gotta be you're loyal. You're done. You're in there. You yeah. might wow. stay. Right now. Wow. Uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Live on Tree Talks, the Antonio Brown saga continues. Wow. Barn, are you illiterate? Do you know how to read? Ooh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how to read. No. Breaking. No. Patriots wide receiver Antonio Brown accused of three separate incidents of sexual assault and rape, according to federal lawsuit filed Tuesday. Barnard's That's like, literally Jamin. Jamin just sent that <laughs> that's to Big Pete's two minutes ago. That is just that's biggest, breaking. That's, that's the biggest the chat. dude. You know, you know what oh. that is? That is me when the Raiders released Antonio Brown when he was on my fantasy team. I go shit. Patriots just get Antonio Brown. I'm like fuck yeah. Now <laughs> Antonio Brown's accused of rape. Now I gotta fucking cut him. Again. <laughs> And, and he, he needs to say sorry to the white people. And there goes my, oh there my, there goes my second not receiver in the crew. <laughs> I'm not starting that in the chat. Here's a hot take. In my belief, when it comes to an athlete, I'd say believe the athlete first. Because how many women have fucking tried taking all this shit from athletes oh, and it's proven to be a lie? Come on. Now. Okay. No, 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 these are all discussions okay, no, 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 I don't no, want to no, be getting no, into. No, 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 no. Okay, let's no, not. No. Let's just not get controversial okay, on Tree Talks. I'm not getting controversial. I'm saying straight up NFL players, these people have done it to their they've done significant it. Yeah, they've done it. All these a people. lot of fucking okay, people no, lie about no, it. No, no, if you want to get into like... Like Morgan Freeman doing it to women and all that stuff, all those. Bill Cosby. All that, like all that stuff. Well, Cosby, he might have done it. Like I he, can believe. He that. Did it. Yeah, you don't he believe did. it. No, I can believe. I believe that. But he like, he spent like a shitload of like years a, in prison. No, <laughs> like I'm talking like Morgan Freeman, like other people that get like all these sexual. Wait, assault. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, he got like like something with sexual. Assault. Morgan Freeman. Yes. Allegations. Yes. Yeah. Allegations. Oh, I didn't hear about yes. that. So that's what I'm saying. All these people get all these things. I think a lot of that shit's bullshit, and I think a lot of people band to each other and say, hey, can we get well, money out of this big person by it, all uh, saying that this happened? Was it someone accused Cardi B 
Yeah, of raping a guy yeah. when he was like Dude, really you drunk remember, or something. Did yeah. you remember that nigga from Baylor that was fucking huge? Yeah, that, end, that got, got accused of rape. Yeah, and then like over. five years later, it came out that she fucking lied about it. Boom! There goes his fucking NFL well, see, career. Yeah, but like a lot of NFL players, they actually do it. Mm-hmm. So well, when yeah, but when, I mean, when you get accused of it as a player who's gonna go to the league, obviously they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's not good." All right, and try it away. From the actual controversy to the new topic of the channel, which this this probably Bryce and Arthur just take for this probably could have been good for this segment. But anyway, we are going to release one hot take. Into the atmosphere, every single crew cast with every member that is in it. And right when I said this segment idea, everybody lit up and had an idea, except for you know me and Barn, Colge and Fitz. Those both of them were really quick off. Barn the has an idea. He knows what he wants. Already to do. did it. Though. Yeah. So it's over. The I gotta make. I gotta think a new one though. Mm-hmm. I got All right. it. I got it. Fitz, what is your hot take? My hot take is that snakes should not be pets. For any people in okay. all of the we world. were on the same level, Bryce. Yeah, wow. Because that because my hot take is that snakes are the absolute fucking worst animals in the history <laughs> of the earth. Someone's probably got something earth. to say about that. One hundred percent. There. How can no, you trust dude. a little thing that doesn't have no. legs that just okay. slithers okay. around? It's all scary. I about. understand the big ones, but a little small one like ball python. They're so awesome. No, I don't. Yes. I don't. Dude. They're, they're freaky. First of all, I don't. Fuck with snakes. Fuck snakes. And on snakes. top of this, I also think that like once you have a pet snake, they're just gonna get bigger and bigger. You're feeding them. You're keeping them there. You just and, keep them in a and cage. You hear, well, the whole certain time. like snakes and, only grow to a certain size. Based well, yeah. On their and time. you hear stories about snakes fucking wrapping up kid around kids' necks and oh, sleeping. Honestly, those fuck have them. to be like <laughs> animals. Yeah, like, fuck them kids. But Dude. that's a, I hate snakes. Hate snakes. They don't when deserve I, to be pets. And yeah. When I lived in uh, Rapt and Coeur d'Alene, uh, for summer we took care of my cousin's uh, baby alligator. It was literally like nine, ten inches long. And my like dad that should be an animal. My dad let it fucking roll around in the yard, that's but a, yeah, he ended up giving it to the zoo because it got so fucking big. Well, that's an, it's an alligator. But yeah, that's an that. ancient. That's an ancient creature. Like, well, snakes so are snakes. Snakes. How long is no, it like, I don't know, honestly. Way cooler than a fucking snake. Yeah. No, true. Oh. I hate snake. lizards, too. Let's talk. That's a hot oh, take. Dude, dude. No. Oh, dude, no. I hate dude. lizards. No, okay, lizards Little chameleons and lizards are cool. Okay, chameleon, chameleons and bearded dragons are bad. Dude, dude, oh, besides cool. that, you know. Bearded dragons freak me out, dude. But those dragons are awesome. They're so nice. That nigga tried making me touch his fucking bearded dragon so many times. I would touch. I would hold one. And you know how strong I feel about this whole You're snake thing too my is because my whole my brother had a snake too and yeah. I am not about it. I don't care. He's put it on the floor in my house. Ugh. I ain't about that shit. That's scary, man. That's no almost way. as bad as having a pet tarantula. Dude, Dude no. Dude. Why would you no. ever? Oh yeah, and my I'd rather have a pet I've held a, a pet tarantula, tarantula but and my brother good. Garrett. He had a friend who had a closet full of them. Now, there's like sixty of them in shoe boxes that he'd just feed. Feed, feed of crickets just or whatever. Them shoe boxes. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know, just like yeah. I know, but yeah, their ecosystem. Just a shit, just a shit, <laughs> just a shit ton of tarantulas, and he feed them. Oh, what tarantulas? Are you yeah, talking about and, snakes? Yeah, no, Garrett. Yeah, Garrett had like a friend that had just a shit ton of tarantulas in his closet, oh, and he kept oh, them. He kept God. them in boxes, and he no. And he, like that, they're, that's just like cruel, they're, though. Yeah, they were secure. Awesome. They were secure enough, and he just feed them. I was them, like, gonna make a joke. Feed them like. Dude, we're, we're already, already demonetized because they all the crew up and a storm. Like twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in Arturo. If you can't tell by the name Arturo, <clears throat> and he it's fine. <laughs> uh, I was he gonna ask wrong. if you ever shot up a school because no. that's so fucking no, so weird as shit. Dude, there is just some freaking politics takes and spider takes and snake takes. There's a lot of takes in this episode. My take is not going to be near as extreme as the snake or the spider, but it's sure to cause controversy. Ranch is the best condiment, and it's not even close to any, any 
Yeah, it fuck with ranch. I'm I talking, would, I would I'm talking over to... ketchup, over barbecue sauce. Ranch is number one. I know what Colton's was about to say. You can't ranch. fuck with Frank's red hot sauce. Oh, yeah, ranch. ranch is good, but ranch, ranch, is good. ranch is definitely the number one condiment. Not for me. And it's like, it's... Dude, any, dude what even what is bad food? ranch is good ranch. Special sauce. I can't do fucking... Special fries. sauce, I can't do, dude, I can't do okay, ranch baby. at all. I love what? it. Dude, okay. fries are... Fry sauce Martin, is dead. Do you remember when we went to fucking Oregon and we asked the guy for special sauce and he's like, ranch? Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. like, ranch? And I was like, no. That's how you know ranch is elite because they <laughs> think like, that's what ranch yeah, is, like, special sauce. Like, that's like, no. how so so we better explain this for the people in Jacksonville. Yeah. yeah so like, true. fry sauce is basically just ketchup and mayo mixed together. It's better than ketchup or mayo separate, but together yeah, it makes... Yeah, so fry sauce. Of, it's the, the second best Dipping sauce, condiment. Wait, ever. what's the difference between fry sauce and special sauce? It's the same, it's the same thing. Okay, same and I'm going to go with something just off, because my favorite condiment ever would be Texas Longhorn Barbecue Sauce. My favorite. That's my. That's not even a top five barbecue that, sauce. I, that's my favorite. <laughs> barbecue that's sauce by is by far my favorite. Barbecue, barbecue sauce barbecue is elite. Sauce. Barbecue sauce is at the end of my condiments. List. Yeah, what? same, same. Yeah, barbecue same. sauce at the end. Like yeah. I like I like eating pulled pork sandwiches and stuff with barbecue sauce, but like I don't really mess with like ribs or like I won't. Oh, same. I won't. I won't dip my nuggets oh. in barbecue sauce. Oh, I dip mine in ranch. Ranch, ranch or barbecue? Oh, ranch. Fuck, dude, dude, my top three top yeah. three condiments would be. Ranch, barbecue sauce. What do we think my number three? Dude, sauce. Would my number three? Can my it's number like three be another type of ranch? Yeah. <laughs> Avocado like, ranch. Steak sauce. Yeah. 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 The A one. Worcestershire. Dude, I put that. I put that stuff in my uh, my pastaroni. Oh, dude, I put Worcestershire in everything. Dude, that shit. Oh, dude, I put, dude I'm Arturo. I, put I remember. I put Frank's on way more stuff than. I remember in high school, your favorite condiment was hummus. (laughs) (laughs) Straight up, my like top three would be special sauce, honey mustard, and then fucking like a hot sauce. Dude, Dude, I I don't fuck with any kind of mustard. In high school, you guys used to dip your burgers in hummus. Two years ago, I did not fuck with mustard. I don't oh, know. I don't honey like mustard is so fucked. And I think that's what my why also barbecue might be so top too. It's because I don't fuck with a lot of condiments. I do not. Dude, like I, don't rice is know, I don't. I fuck, I don't. Mustard, I don't. Mess I can't with, eat a hot dog without mustard on it. Oh, I don't. No, I don't no, mess no. with mustard. I don't mess with. I, so yeah. Only me, I mess with ketchup sometimes. Maybe. Maybe a hot dog ketchup. Maybe. I'll put ketchup on a hot dog. Maybe. Right? If Bryce I, is the kind of guy dude, who goes honestly, to any restaurant. It could be like a fucking restaurant where your meal would be a hundred plus bucks and you'd still get chicken tenders. No. Like, no, that's no, not, not if true. you go to Strike and Spare where everything can be seven bucks, but he orders an $18 bite-sized steak. Dude, the bite-sized <laughs> yeah, steak. Okay, if we're going though. somewhere big, I'm either getting chicken alfredo, steak and shrimp, or chicken tenders if they don't have the options. Chick- I don't know if this is a hot take, but I don't need any condiments with it if it doesn't have fucking spice in it. How do you mean? Like, like fucking... If it don't burn. Yeah, if um, it don't burn, they don't taste good. Dude, I love Frank's. Dude, so I put that shit I, in my top. Yeah, everything I, I eat always, is spicy dude, food, dude. My yeah. ass pays for it. Yeah. It <laughs> <is>. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I'm like, God, this is so good. And then it's it like, is later, so good, and I'm like, but... oh. And that's why I don't deal with spicy food. I will. I always have <laughs> fucking three fucking hot sauces in my cupboard ready to go. For Frank's is, <laughs> Frank's is number like one. In your car. Frank's, <laughs> right? uh, Frank's is number active. one. Frank's, hell yeah. I need to buy a new bottle. One, of Frank's one YouTube video idea that we need to do when we do the Crew Olympics, because that's one thing we need to plan. <laughs> <the> crew Olympics. <laughs> one true. thing. One thing. When the eating contest has to be fucking pickled jalapenos, Ugh. dude. Because I could compete. <laughs> Dude, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with jalapenos. I don't like the taste. You don't fuck with jalapenos no more? I, love, I, like, I like jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers are dinks. Fuck. Mm. I don't fuck with just regular jalapenos. Well, we gotta find out, we gotta find out something yeah, that we, we can all eat. Yeah, we gotta find some spicy some jalapeno poppers. If we're gonna okay, yeah, but the saltine challenge is its own challenge. Oh, uh, did so. I destroy you guys in the saltine? Dude, oh. Barnage is literally the only one that ever actually ate six Foster. saltine crackers I in less than six seconds. I literally all the time when Dude. I was high at Bryce's. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> it was at every single it was day. My house. Straight up, Cole's like, we're doing this. I was like, alright. I have a so video like, of it, and Barnage is like, going ham. Dude, yeah, and it's, 
I don't know what you heard yeah, about yeah, me. Like, <laughs> you're just like completely sweaty, long hair. You're, yeah. you're just going. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> trying you know, to get it. That was back when you were like huge, huge. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, that's when I was weighing 225. <laughs> Barnage deadass lost like 80 pounds from just working. Just from Nutrisystem. Nutrisystem. <laughs> 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 Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> sponsored by Nutrisystem. <laughs> yeah. Do you still want to eat your favorite? foods every day and lose all the weight? Hell yeah. <laughs> Nutri- system. All right. Plus, get a hard-ass working job. There you go. Nutrisystem. Nutrisystem. <laughs> <laughs> so, Barn, have you revealed your hot take? No, but my hot take is, I think Aaron Rodgers gets benched at least once this year. Ooh. Like, for playing bad? Yeah. For, who's their backup? Not Brent Hundley. I don't know, but I, I think it happens I, once. I'm going to have to say that's just a bad take. Oh, I, I, I think it'll happen. Take. I think that's just a bad take. Well, who who is the backup? Up, as, up, and he's gonna keep throwing as long as he stays healthy, he'll start all 16. <laughs> he'll be fine. I don't think so. Explain your reasoning. Dude, he just keeps getting hurt, and he's going to get hurt, and he's just going to keep throwing bad, and then he, they're just going to keep throwing him out there, and then he's going to be like, I'm done, and they're going to throw someone else in. You think he's going to pull a luck? He's going to yeah. fucking retire? Um, I, I think he's just going to keep getting fucked up, and he's going to be like, yo, I'm done. You know who they used to have as their backup quarterback? Yeah, and then they got Kaiser. rid of him, thank God. I'm looking up. It's, it says on the first thing, it says Tim Boyle. Which is like, they're not benching I have Aaron no, Rodgers I have, for nobody I named Tim Boyle. I have no <laughs> idea who that is. <laughs> if you don't get benched, he at least gets hurt, and they have to start someone else. Speaking of benches and backup quarterbacks, the local boy Gardner local Minshew. Boy. What? What are you? What's your guys' thought? From? Dude, he he's from? not. He's not from the he's, area. He's but from he, Mississippi. I think yeah, he has the Mississippi mustache, and. I hope the best for him, dude. I really hope he tears it up. But local college. Local WSU, man. I hope he does it. Dude, he's he looked good out there, man. And he oh, embodies yeah. Duval, dude. He mm-hmm. embodies like the fan base. Like this he is did a, it at WSU. This is a guy and like we were watching the hype video that uh I don't I don't know his actual name, but I know on Twitter his name's Cole Fartley. That Cole Fartley put out, and it was really fucking good. Yeah, I and watched it right before this podcast, and it got me fucking excited. So is is Foles toast? Yeah, he's on the IR. Oh, okay. yeah. He's on the so, IR. It's the Gardner Minshew so, show, or Josh, Josh Dobbs! So here, here's <laughs> what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Minshew plays well. I'm hoping. But y'all don't do as great as you want. And then that Marone gets fired. And here and comes Ramsey Mike Leach. Leach. No way. Dude, I would... That would... That's a bold take, and I love it. That's I, and a like, bold and take. And, like, and, like now, that you, and, and, how, and now that you're saying it out loud, I'm kind of like... I, Bryce came up with There's no way he would ever leave WSU, dude. For Gardner? There's no he way. Would for Gardner. <laughs> he loves Gardner. Dude, they're, Everyone loves Gardner. They're best he, friends, They are man. best friends, though. They're, like, they bond Could you imagine so if well. Mike Leach came oh to the NFL? I don't think Mike Leach would be as successful in the NFL. I think he would. I think the way he runs his offenses is like... It's, like really, it's too much for college. Kingsbury's a, an air raid offense. That's what we do. Why can't they? And go? I mean, we got a lot of speedy wideouts. Yeah, Kelly we should have a speedy wideout. You don't have big, big name guys. That's, draft Marcus that's what and that's what WSU was. Sure. That's what Arizona is. We are the embodiment of that. We have Larry. He's a big name guy, but we don't have anybody else who's big name, and we throw to all of them. That's what you guys need to do. Literally, I would be the happiest Jags fan on the planet if the future of the franchise was, was Mike, Mike Leach, Leach and Gar. Oh Gar- Gar- yeah, that would be legendary. Because I think Minshew, oh, I, I think God. I think Minshew could put up a good enough season to where they'd be like, "Damn, dude, we and need it's to not- give this guy a look." And you think that Mike Marone Leach still would go into the NFL though? Yeah, if well, if if, if, if been- offered by Jags. How <laughs> I think he just actually recently signed an extension. How long has he been with WSU? But you know that's still three, four years. That still doesn't yeah. mean nothing. Because he was there for holidays. Has Mike Leach even fall. got any offers from any of teams? No, probably because he's not looking. But I mean, this is the perfect situation if he was ever yeah, going to go. Yeah, if he's ever going to, and 
That's coaches aren't always looking. Dude, that's, it's that's, my that's got me off. riled up, dude. Yeah. You need to quit talking about dude, that. Yeah, you need, yeah, really dude, really riled like, up. Dude, I told I showed Jamin that video, and then he's like, "Dude, that's fucking lit, honestly." And I was like, "I had an erection that lasted longer than four hours after watching this." Dude. Uh, I'm, I'm, you had to contact your doctor. I'm super stoked for Gardner Minshew because it's like people oh, people that are talking about how I love Gardner. He's gonna do like terrible, awful, blah blah blah. It's and like their main argument is that the Chiefs didn't the Chiefs defense isn't good for one and for two that they didn't have a chance to game plan for Gardner Minshew. You mean to look me in the eye and tell me that the Kansas City Chiefs need to plan for a six round draft pick out of yeah. Washington State? And he went 22 for 25. He's nominated for fucking Pepsi Rookie of the Week. Go vote for him. It's probably not sponsored. Dude, yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Not sponsored by Pepsi, but... Dude, but, I'm fucking... No, I mean, open. I think, you know, Mitchie's got... So, I think you're lying solid. I Which think, was impressive. Yeah. That was, like, the biggest shocker and I think, of them all. Honestly. I think Fournette can help out. He did He had, he had, he had a five-yard... Per that's what carry. you ask him to do. Yeah, I mean, that's do. all you can ask for. Right, and that's right. what I'm saying. I think you guys could... I think you'll do decent, you know, decent record wise, and I think Minshew will do good enough to where they'll be like, "Man, we need to take a look at this guy." But I would love to see Mike Leach. That would be oh, insane over dude. Marone because Marone like does not know WSU, how to keep though. the dogs down. He does. I think man. Leach can keep the dogs down, and I think they think would be balling out it. too when you guys are winning by forty. He would. Yeah. yeah. So that's the kind of guy. Mike, yeah. Mike Leach is kind of like Bill uh, Belichick, but he's got a yeah. way better. Side I think you guys drop. To get the second yeah. pick and pick Justin Herbert, and he's a bust. I hope not. Minshew. I don't want it's Minshew or bust. Minshew or bust. It's freaking Minshew or bust. The sixth round draft pick, and I was saying in my mock drafts, like way back in like January, I was like, "That's the guy you wanted, Gardner Minshew in the sixth round." Because why the fuck not? He played well. And I, now, look. I think Gardner Minshew is a career backup. And I also want to talk not. about. I, I mean, that's probably what he's destined for. I, I hope he's the about... greatest quarterback of all time. Dude, his jerseys, his jerseys sold, sold out, out 15 minutes after he came in. Like that's... our teams have got steals too. I don't know. They probably rounds. only had like 50 jerseys. That's something that. Dude, always imagine happens. this draft class though, if it pans out. Josh Allen, Jawan Taylor, Quincy Williams, Gardner Minshew. Mm-hmm. Like that's that keeps Dave Caldwell's job. <clears throat> Kyler Murray, Keyshawn Johnson, Andy Isabel. We got a, and a shit ton of linemen. Damn, he didn't put in Byron Murphy. Yeah, what the hell? Byron is he's he's all right. He Still didn't even struggling. put in the uh, fucking Deontay Thomas. Deontay's not a starter. He's a backup. Fuck, he's gonna start. He's a fucking monster. DJ Wish Swear and Buddha is taking it down. It's not a bunch of separate girls. It's just one girl three times. One girl three times breaking news. That might be harder to pull off. That might might be fishy. Who knows? Yeah, that's that's a little different. Arturge, did you give out your hot take? No, but wait, does Colm have one? I said uh, the thing about snakes. I said yeah. snakes are the worst animal ever. Yeah, I'm going to put out a cold take. Carson Wentz, MVP. Cold? You've been, talking, you've been talking about That's it. a bold take. Well, that's a cold take. That ain't it's a cold happen. take. It ain't happening. No, he's going to... He's going to... He's going to stay healthy, and he's going to... He's going to get hurt, and Josh court. McCown will start games this season. Not Josh not. McCown will start at least one game this season. And I think he'll do enough to where they'll be like... It'll be like I might have to check Give this. Give the forty-year-old It'll... another contract. I might yeah. have. I might have It'll to check this. It'll be week seventeen this, but I feel like they got there's a first round buy. Never been a year Josh McCann hasn't started at least one game. The Eagles will. The one. Eagles will not get a first round buy because they don't think they'll beat Dallas. I think they'll fucking wipe the floor with Dallas. Oh, what, dude? Da- dude, and that's I the don't. thing too. Y'all were like, you're riding Dallas's dick hard. Oh, dude, and Dallas. Dallas is good. Fucking got me some points, so it didn't even matter because Josh Jacobs is a fucking asshole. Dallas is good. No, he went off. Well, Dude, Josh what? Jacobs they're the best team in that he division went, by three, oh. four games. They gave him like 20, 20, 20 carries so. for like 80 yeah. some yards and two touchdowns. Yeah. So they fed him. I think the Eagles are the best team in the NFL. I had they're not on the my, best team in the NFL. I had the the best team in the NFL. I think they're the best team in the NFL. And I started. Like Dude, in one of our leagues, I don't remember there. what it was, but Lamar Jackson was a free agent. It's in ours. The Falcons. And I put in a claim. Hey, I also yeah. want to. <laughs> I also want to say, screw you, Falcons, for uh, 
for making Matt for deciding to go for two and not yeah, let I Matt Bryant kick, kick extra <laughs> points. Not that sponsored. Literally cost me my fantasy W against Armin. Dude, and he was hyped. Yeah. He was stoked. Will Lutz freaking, got 14 points. Yes, because Matt Bryant didn't kick any extra points. They went for two full He's times. a hot take. Oh, Drake roll. is the single greatest artist to ever live. Oh, no. I don't, I don't really oh. want to talk about oh. yeah. this, this. If y'all, if y'all could be a spy on the, I mean, if I could fly on the wall during our group chat arguments mm. back in 2016, you yeah, every oh. every once in a while, <laughs> they still spark up. <laughs> That's a good one. Dank meme status. All right. Now, I want to get into a story that we were supposed to tell, but we ended up going off on some more bold takes. So, Fitz and Colge went and hopped into Bryce's shop, apparently, and saw Rattler. Okay, so this yeah, is... Let's so, the story. like, okay, so I really don't have much. Bryce can just tell the rest of the story after I'm done, but I went to go pick up Bryce for this crew cast, and I walk inside the house, and there's nobody... So I thought everyone was just gone. And I was like, okay. So I called Bryce, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm in the shop, chilling. And I freaking walk in, I take two steps, and Bryce goes, yeah, we lost the snake. <laughs> and I was like... I didn't say we lost. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, I said What's there's that? a snake, is what I said. And he's gone, he's lost. And I was like, all right, Bryce, I'll be in my car. And <laughs> yeah, I freaking same. slammed that door, and I ran to my car, because snakes are creepy. No, and it was it was weird too because we were, we went in there to it was my uncle John came over <coughs> and we went in there to look for a dolly and like we went up to this the table and my, me and my friends were out there the other night just like sitting around there. <laughs> and then, like we just like looked down and we think it's a dead snake because there's like there's like dust and shit on its head yeah like it looks dead then how'd you lose it and no we didn't lose it I didn't mm. say we lost it so I don't know how here <laughs> But uh, I said that. Yeah, but like, no, we thought that it was just dead because there's dust on his head, mm -hmm. and like, so we just like chilled, and then like, my uncle John started like but, messing with it, and it just started moving, uh, and it was alive. So it it was either a baby rattlesnake or baby bull snake, and it was just chilling. Do right baby there. rattlers? Where, so where was this located? Like we're at your shop. Just right by the table, like right where we would sit, like right under. The table. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Dude, and so, like, cheap. we had like a, we had the jerky jerky stick, like plastic bin thing, the and pepperoni. we yeah, we covered yeah. it up because it was small enough to get it covered up around there, and uh, then we put cardboard from a Keystone Light old Keystone Light <laughs> box and slid it under uh, and just got it out and then took it outside. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Well, I, that makes me want to puke. Yeah, that well, literally makes me want to puke. My brother thought it was dead so like what if like he reached down to grab that bitch and it was a baby rattler. You just gotta drive him to the hospital. Yeah, snapped dude, yeah, it. Yeah, one of my head. old yeah, co-workers. Yeah, but it's more poisonous than reg regular. Yeah, because they can't stop their venom. Yeah. You gotta, you just gotta Not suck the venom out. Oh yeah, dude, that's, I just—that's a false claim. I know. Yeah, I, <laughs> get I just, I've seen freaking uh, one of my old coworkers got bit by a rattlesnake on the dikes. Wait, what? Yeah, he got bit by a rattlesnake on the dikes. Who, wait, what? One of my what? old coworkers. Who? From the trip? Yeah. Were you guys out for a walk? Oh no, 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 no! I wasn't with him. I'm oh. just saying that, like, he got, oh. <laughs> he got fucking. Yeah. Do they? They bite, right? Yeah, they bite. Rattle, yeah, they bite. fucking yeah. bite. Yeah. Fuck snakes. They fangs, man. Dude, you know what would be kind of sketch? A wild, a wild scorpion. Yeah, scorpion. Like, I know we don't have to worry that, about that here, but, like, I feel like just seeing a wild scorpion I would feel be... like we could have scorpions. Dude, so, like, when we go to, like, California or Vegas, or not Vegas, but, like, when I went to California, there's, there's like, literally lizards and shit just wild that just run yeah. around, and it's cool. It's really Dude, cool. But I'm like, with Arturo, man. I don't fuck with those. I see a snake and I'll fucking freak. It's literally in the family. Snakes, like, I don't My grandpa, them. my dad's dad, and then my dad, and then me. Like, our greatest fears are fucking snakes. We've all seen one before riding trails at our cabin. And we all scream like little girls and jump off the four wheeler and wait till it passes. So, what is your guys' biggest fear without being really deep, like, dying? Just snakes. 
And then, and then, and then, like, when I heard snakes, when I heard, when I heard snake at your house, like any kind of bridge or just like, like, dude, fuck, dude, I go walk across that blue bridge, dude, all I can feel is my fucking heart pounding on my chest. I hate that shit. Like, I can't, I hate bridges. And, um, also, too, like, watching shows, this is going back to the snake thing, watching shows, too, like, with people (coughs) in in the water with an anaconda, it's like, you guys are fucking nuts. Uh, like, what are you thinking? Maybe like 20, 30 foot Like a 20, 30, yeah, snake, a 20 200 foot, pounds. yeah, 200 pound anaconda, and you're in its, its domain. Yeah, I would not. Yeah, that's, that's smart. <laughs> so, Fitz, what's your biggest fear? Okay, and then, uh, mine's kind of with Barton, I don't know if it's the same reasoning, though. Mine's, mine's like, heights. Like, I get, like, <coughs> mine's bad, right? Like, like, I'll go on... Roller coasters, like you'll, that, are, you'll, that are high. You'll jo- choke but, slam me off of a ladder. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And I'll go off roller coasters that are that like the panic plunge at Silverwood, where it just goes up a hundred feet, and then you just hear the click. Dude, it's way drop. more than a hundred feet. Yeah, or whatever it, it is. Feels like, like it, but at least. once I get going up, like I get fucking. Like, Have you ever been on my, an airplane? I start just muscling out. Have you ever been on an airplane, like, Bryce? Yeah, and that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Because I'm in something. Oh, okay. Like I'm. In, but like, so you could, could just you be a seen, roofer? yeah, like seeing the distance, like seeing the distance, yeah. <laughs> could could you be like a roofer? Could no, you like you couldn't do that. No, really, a roof? That's too high. Well, I just don't want. Roofer. I just don't like to work. No, just like, <laughs> that's why I would like do I'm it. Ta- I thought you were talking more like a contract <laughs> building, like walking on like fucking. Um, oh. Well, I I did that. I, in con- I did that. Bryce on that. I did that in construction with, three. Oh, yeah. Uh, you have to walk on those big things. Like, yeah. Dude, that doesn't bother me at all. But no, and so, like, yeah, I just don't like that shit. Like, even, what, like, on the Panic Plunge, like, I enjoy going on it, but, like, as soon as I get up up mm-hmm. there, like, fucking... I just tense out. Like, I I'll, do too, my, I'll muscle out, like, needle? I'll just, like, fucking just go straight, and then as soon as it drops, like, I'm just fucking muscled out until I get down. Dude, and, in... Like, okay. Have you ever flexed out? Yeah, I was yeah. just about to tell a story. In the ninth grade... On a wrestling bus, a JV, uh, there's a senior, Jared, I don't want to say his last name, you remember Yeah, I know yeah. And I don't know if Tree was there, I wasn't I friends was with him. And he did it, and then he told me to do it, so I did it, and I think I almost shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I passed out for a second, but like I kind of like, I was like kind of out, but then like when I landed, I like woke back up. That, yeah, I think I'm. If you guys ever have seizures, the most common question they're gonna ask is, "Did you shit yourself?" <coughs> Did, I got asked if I or, shit myself yeah. like or pissed ten yourself. times. This, the lady you asked you so twice when I was there. Yeah, and like she said something weird that I didn't even know, and you're like, "What's that?" And I was like, "Really what interested." Did she say? <laughs> yeah. and, and did she, she say <laughs> defecate or something? No, no, she said some totally scientific word. I don't even remember what it was. And Trude goes what's that and then like she goes did you piss or shit yourself and he's like oh no No, no, no. (laughs) oh no No. dude i'm just glad i i like in my three that i've had that i didn't shit or piss myself like that good thing you didn't bite your tongue off because that happens too yeah i i bit my tongue hell the first time i don't think i bit my tongue the second people bite their tongues off i did yeah Sketch. Arturge, what's your biggest fear? Fucking spiders. That's mine too, brother. Fuck spiders. He fucking his mom. <laughs> <laughs> but, I was gonna, your Bart biggest fear is daddy. <laughs> I was gonna ask that too. I was like, have, have you? So what if his mom? Yeah. No, no, no. So what if he's like? What if it's like down the line and he's like thirty or something, and she's still, you know. <laughs> Lights uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's smoking and, granny. And, yeah, 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 still Gilf. lights up. And, and he is still a virgin. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he is still a virgin. Is it, is it, is it, is it a, this yeah, is this is hypothetically. If, <laughs> is it, is no, it's it, not. <laughs> if your grandma is guilt, this no, is that. If no, your mom <laughs> gets the point of yeah, guilt, is it, is it still an option? Absolutely. For Barn to be boning your mom so you can just <laughs> get it out of the way. Dude, what if she's happy with him? So many sexual frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> just get out. Barn the... would be nasty to your mom. <laughs> 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 
You're like, you don't know how many years I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> all, all that for three minutes. <laughs> You're like, I thought it was going to happen at the movie she took me to. <laughs> years back. Man. She asked me to she a asked movie Barnes on go. my 18th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> She fucked me in the back of the <laughs> SUV. <laughs> I didn't I know fuck her. The on the street is Barney has a small penis. <laughs> did your mom but she did that? things <laughs> average. <laughs> the average. We're all <laughs> average guys here. Except, except, except Barney's average is about like two inches. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to expose yeah. the whole. <laughs> Insert everybody's dick pic here. <laughs> Jeez, Bart's got insert a fucking every, jungle. Insert everyone's ball sack. Yeah. Y'all. Guess whose ball sack. Guess the ball sack. <laughs> Which one's bigger? <laughs> Who has the uneven sized nuts? Me. <laughs> but they're also the biggest. <laughs> pound for pound. Uh, no, just biggest. Period. <laughs> Period. I love how uh, Kitty's just been kind of Overwatch at this yeah, whole dude, podcast. Yeah, they can't. So I don't know. I bet Bryce would give you a run for your money. I, I don't know, dude. Nuts. Fucking oh, after man. that nurse, I might be able to give you a run for your money. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> tell that story. Yeah, that was awkward. Man. Let, let, Did you get a boner or something? Let, let's, let's no, hear, let's hear dude. that one. Oh, I remember that. I was, that. I, I was working. I, I was pulling some weeds, and he turned out to be poisonous. <laughs> yeah, and. I had, like, a full rash all over my body, everything, junk and all, and I went into the hospital, and the lady's like, I need to see everything, so I whipped out my shit. Yeah, and met <laughs> over and spread his cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did not have to do that, thank God, but she's yeah. like, the, the only thing the nurse she said, the like, thing. right away Jesus. was, oh my God, your balls are huge, <laughs> and like, I just yeah, immediately, man. like, put my hands over my shit, I was just like, I... And then I like, pulled up my shorts. I was like, this is awkward. Yeah. Oh, I've just uh, been like, thank you. All right, well, let, me see, let me see the doctor. It was like an <laughs> old lady, dude. She was like 70-something. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, like, hey, let's see what the doctor has to say about my balls. <laughs> let's see if they really the are big. mom better not look like you by the time she hits so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tree got a hard on... What was it, sixth grade or something like that with the doctor? Yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better tell that story since I brought it up. <laughs> oh, God. I was getting my physical in the sixth grade yeah. and started off started off with this old dude, right? I was like, all right, this guy's just going to grab my nuts. Just a little hoo-ha, bing, bang, boom. Yeah, I saw that. And fucking nuts. he leaves, and then here comes this fucking smoking hot nurse babe comes in. I'm fucking in sixth grade just discovering masturbation. <laughs> so, so, so she's like, drop your shorts. And I was like, all right. Yes, yeah, and okay. I'm, just, I'm fucking sporting one, dude. <laughs> right when I pull sporting my, one. Right when I fucking pull my shorts down and I just watch her fucking turn her head away and just grab my fucking balls. And I'm just Cough. like, oh, God. Cough. <laughs> He dude, my seventh grade one, I had this like on his fucking dyke bitch, dude. Oh, dude, she I had a just, hot like, doctor. Feel my shit up. I was like, I had a hot doctor <laughs> when I had to do that in the sixth grade. Get away! I never had to. I never got a hard on. She just told me how small my dick was. <laughs> she's like, she's, really? She's like, That's unusual. At your age. <laughs> you still Boys like you should be growing by now. <laughs> Who you're four foot three and sport the dick yeah. like that? Your future ain't bright. <laughs> but your balls. <laughs> your fucking. I, just... I had these two hands to freaking cut these <laughs> <when> coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Cough harder. <laughs> no, that's uh, not approved in this conversation. Oh man. All right, what are we working? Like mini wheel. We're well, forty-three for minutes goodness. deep into this oh. podcast. Well, weren't we gonna talk about something else? Before are we going to talk about something else? Oh, dude, I have no idea. Is there something else on the agenda? Any, any, you guys have the any... Steelers suck. Any, uh, we'll Steelers go, we'll go across, start off with Fitch. You got any, uh, parting takes, parting words, anything like oh, that? Oh, you know, Cardinals are so fucking good. Larry. <laughs> T-Suggs. T- Chandler, Chandler Jones. All beast. Good, good stuff. AQ, you the man. Keep <laughs> on. Turge, it's gonna be a while before the people hear you on the. Oh, actually, you were on the crew cast not that long ago. You called oh. in. Yeah, you just... yeah. So you're. Oh, was that when I wasn't there? Yeah. When I. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, it's a kitty cat. 
Oh, it, it, might, probably, it is probably is the kitty. My eyes fucking burn. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Well, Arturo's allergic to kitty cats. Yeah. Arturo's gonna have to go to the hospital after the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Bard, any parting words? Uh, fuck the downtown loose and clean up crew. And, uh, fair. The Browns, uh, are very fucking tragic. That's about it. Coach. Uh, follow me on Vine, Colton <laughs> underscore Jones, and uh, yeah, follow on MySpace my, also. Yeah, fo- add me on MySpace, Colton Jones, and uh, snakes are the worst. All right, guys. Do this for the get cucked week too. Probably. Thanks for coming out to Crewcast episode thirteen. Fuck the Jags. Duval. <laughs>